What is going on Lego Maniacs? It's Ty the Lego Guy here and welcome to an amazing, fantastic set that deserves an old buddy. Pirates of Barracuda Bay may be the best set of 2020. Really, really love it. Um, I know we normally do an old school Wednesday set on Wednesdays, but I thought we'd flip it up and this is definitely worthy of a flip up. And uh, the set that we're taking a look at is set 21322, has 2,545 pieces, 10 minifigs, retails for about 200 US. And uh, yeah, it came out this year as of 2020. This is a phenomenal model. I have so many good things to say about it. Again, it may be the best set of 2020, we'll see. Um, and we're also gonna build this into its ship form and review that as well as its island form, obviously. Uh, but anyways, enough talk, let's get right into it. And to start this review off, I thought we could take a look at the box. So as you guys can see, this is a big boy. Like, it doesn't mess around. Obviously, I mean, it's 2,545 pieces. And I love the fact that it's done sort of in the classic artwork that they did older pirate sets. That's absolutely phenomenal. But let's just give you guys kind of like a 360 view of the box. In the back here, you guys will notice they got all these different features. So it shows, you know, Barracuda Bay, but then it also shows it converted into the actual Barracuda ship. So that's actually pretty fantastic. And then ugh, there's so many different little rooms in this that we're going to get into. Absolutely phenomenal set. The captain's quarters is amazing. There's just so many amazing parts in this model. And then what I really liked about the artwork is it just shows a little bit of the set in every uh, you know every side of the box and I actually really like this artwork it shows all the pirates together They got the uh, booty and everything and then on the bottom Kind of lackluster the other thing that's kind of cool about this box though is if you open her up It actually has some nice little artwork um, Right here, which is actually pretty you don't normally see that in a box So they kind of went out of their way to make this really cool uh, Anyways, that's the box itself. Let's now take a look at the model and to start her off, we're going to attempt to give you guys a 360 view of this bad boy. It is absolutely massive. Just so you guys know, there's a couple um, pirate flags on the top, which will not be seen as we uh, move around the bay. But all oh no, gorgeous looking model. I love doing this just because it gives you guys a really good idea of how big this set really is. So, so it's packed with detail. Such a good looking model. We're gonna break it down again room by room. Um, but for now, let's just give you guys a 360 view. <laughs> it's kind of difficult just because it's so big. Like if you want a great display piece, pick this guy up. You will not regret it, especially if you like pirates or just detailed sets in general. Uh, anyways, that's the model. Let's now break her down area by area. And to do that, I actually just wanted to mention something that makes it really simple to transport this set around. It literally just comes apart like so. It's two separate main areas of the island. And uh, yeah, we'll take a look at the left side and then we'll move to the right. So we'll actually start at the bottom and then work our way up. So let's just actually just show you guys this one area. I love these lanterns. Great job on Lego's part. I love the little pig right there, which we'll take a look at uh, when we get into the uh, mini figs. And then what, what you'll notice here too is they got some awesome little, little crates and they're all full of like bananas. Um, I'll actually just show you guys right now. That one's full of, it has a banana. There's some bread there. Really cool looking little pineapple piece. I did appreciate that one quite a bit. And then if you open these guys up, there's like grapes in one. I just wanna show you guys this just because it's it's so awesome. It's just so realistic, right? And then the other one I believe has some biscuits. Yeah, there's biscuits in that one. So great job on Lego's part. Really, really did like that. Um, yeah, let's now continue to move around the ship. Uh, you'll notice that there's actually, oh, <laughs> there's so many little hidden features in this set. Like it's absolutely crazy. Now I will say it's kind of hard to get this treasure chest. You really have to, your fingers in there but there's a hidden treasure chest and obviously there is booty so 
So that is absolutely fantastic. The only thing I will say is I wish they gave you like those gold coins because they don't include that with the set. It's just like bars of gold and diamonds, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, I'm not complaining. It gets the job done. Um, but yeah, let's just continue to go around. There's so much detail in this. As you guys can see, there's a skeleton there. We're gonna take a little bit more of a look on that. Some paddles back here. I really, really like the crooked looking um, window. That's absolutely awesome. I think Lego did a fantastic job on that. And yeah, that pretty well does the bottom area. What we're gonna actually do though, is I'm gonna give you guys a closer look of what's going on in here. So as you guys can see, there's literally a dead little musketeer right there, a nice looking little barrel that has some tools, and then the interior of the front of the ship, which we'll, we'll get more into when we build the ship up. I'll just show the pig off right now. Cute looking pig. This is literally my very first Lego pig, and I think Lego did a fantastic job at him. And now that we got the uh, bottom section out of the way, Let's get into the midsection of this model. So as you guys can see, absolutely massive. Now what I loved about this is they literally made the rudder of the ship, they made it a door. And that is just, that is incredible. Great job on Lego's part. Again, I love that crooked door. Uh, not the crooked door, but the crooked window right here. That is fantastic as well. The overgrowth over the windows is also a great little feature. It really looks like, you know, it's a, old wrecked ship and they've just made a little uh well a little island out of it a little town on the island right now what i loved about this guys check this out they got a little kitchen there's some rum back here there's a little cast iron stove it looks to be uh in the corner here there's a little fish attempt to get a little closer it's just great job on lego's part so creative. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention, give you guys a little bit more view of this ship, although it's it's gonna get a much better view when we um, you know build up the ship and review it. Uh, there's a nice mermaid on the front. Now, before they've made this actually a minifig, I think it's actually better that you know there's no face or anything that you can ba basically tell that it is like kind of like a statue or a carved mermaid instead of a minifig, just because. It looks eerily realistic. It looks like just a girl's at the prop of the ship or a mermaid, a real one. The other thing I wanted to mention real quick is check out these palm trees. Great job on Lego's part. I really liked the little coconuts uh, that you guys can see right here and here. Like just awesome job on Lego's part. Fantastic. Um, the other mid area you'll notice is where they kind of uh, hoist the uh, anchor up. Um, we're gonna get more into that when we have it in the ship mode. Um, let's now take a look at the top of uh, the A side of the island. And here she is. So as you guys can see, it has some rolled up sails. Those are really, you know, come, gonna come into play when we have it in its ship form. But uh, as of now, you can tell it's like, you know, it's being stored away, these sails, they're trying to keep them okay. But the main thing I wanna get into is this cabin. So as you guys can see, great looking little door. And literally just open her up it is a little tricky and there she be so very nice looking little captain corners as you guys can see the captain sitting in there let's show you guys what's inside I absolutely thought this was fantastic check that out what a great looking little captain's quarters now we're gonna break down some little details in here um, the first thing you guys will notice is that there's a nice little bed on the right and then these awesome looking candle pieces with the treasure map right here. Nice looking little, um, it looks to be like a, you know, a plumed pen or whatnot, like, you know, because they used ink back in the day. They literally just dabbed feathers into ink. That's fantastic. I should say just a feather. And then the other thing that's really cool about it is these pirates got lots of booty. So there's another treasure chest in there. Absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, I think Lego's just done such a great job at the uh, captain's quarters. And I just wanted to um, take a look a little bit more at these printed pieces. So very nice looking little map. 
And then this nice little compass. I do believe that this is a new piece. I've never seen it before. Great job. As you guys notice, there's a little north sign on the very top. So awesome job on Lego's part. The other thing I just wanted to, you know, give a little bit more respect to was this awesome looking captain's chair. Great job on Lego's part. I think it just knocks, they knocked it out of the park. Every area of this set, as far as detail goes, is amazing. Uh, anyways, that's the A side of the uh, island. Let's now take a look at the B side. And here we have the B side of the island. This one's a lot easier to kind of review. There's kind of just like an upper floor and a lower floor. And the top of this is just basically like sails and another one of those beautiful looking printed pieced pirate uh, insignias. So I thought that was really, yeah, good job on Lego. There's actually no stickers on this model whatsoever. So let's now actually break her down. Uh, again, just like the other one, area by area. And although this uh, side of the island, I would say is smaller, it is packed with detail, guys. So the first thing you're gonna notice is we've got the brothers, both manning cannons, cause you know, that's what you do. Especially if you got a mustache, it's just, you know, it's the thing to do. Uh, we got some nice little hermit crabs, which is absolutely, or crabs, I should say, lobster, which is fantastic. And then guys, look at this. What What is that? That is none other from the Islander theme. It's a callback. They had these statues back in the Islander. Uh, it's a pirate sub theme. And they had these statues and they literally incorporated it in this model. I thought that was fantastic. Great job on Lego, huge props. So impressed. Um, yeah, I, I, don't, I have so many good things to say about that. They also have a couple other nice little palm trees. I will mention, you also get another unique, um, you know, wildlife to this, uh, to this set. I've never seen this parrot in this color, and I thought that was fantastic. How unique. I, I've just never seen one. Anyways, beautiful looking parrot. Uh, I thought I'd, you know, center in on that. Let's now get back into the model. So let's just set her back up on the uh, stairs. I will say that this is a little bit fragile, so you have to be a little careful. The other thing I wanted to mention is behind the Islander uh, callback, there is some little tools. So there's, well, some tools. There's a little bottle of rum. These pirates really like rum. Uh, I mean, they are pirates. And then it has like a paddle and a couple little axes and whatnot. So nothing too crazy, but just, you know, nice little detail. The other area I wanted to mention, guys, and this is this is by far going to be one of the more difficult areas to kind of review. We're going to take a couple shots at it. Um, right here, you guys can see that there's a two little beds. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, they have a nice little candle along with another little hat. We're going to take it up, take a look at it from like an upward angle as well. But just great job on Lego's part. Really, really like it. I love the detail on this ship. Again, this will really you know, come pop out at you when we, um, you know, go about putting it together and giving you a proper review of the actual ship. Uh, but yeah, that's the midsection. Let's now move on to the top. And the first thing you'll notice, another beautiful looking little printed piece. It says Josie's Inn. It's absolutely fantastic. In fact, let's just take her off and show this off a little bit more to you guys. Lego, give us printed pieces. This is what we want. And look how good it looks. Just great job on Lego's part. Um, yeah, let's now continue throughout the uh, top section. So first thing you'll notice is there's this, well, probably the first thing you'll notice is there's a prison in the back here. And let's just actually take her off and show it to you guys. So these uh, pirates, they do not like, this may have been another musketeer. They're not a fan of him. Um, so they threw in pre prison and he's obviously starved to death. So a little morbid, uh, but you know, that's pirates. Let's now actually take a little bit better look though at the interior of the uh, ship. And how you do that is you literally, you see these squares? Well, if you pull at it, you can take her off. Now you have to remove basically what's supposed to be like rope leading up to the top of the ship. So it comes right off. Um, and you can set her down. The same thing happens with this. Now it's not a bad idea. I think the Imperial flagship maybe did a little bit better job because it all pulled off, but still, 
Great job on Lego's part. Now I can show you guys the interior off a little bit better. So as you guys can see, there is a lot of detail going on. So I just took the uh, camera off just to give you guys a better view. Check out the detail they got in the corner right there. A little picture of a ship. That's fantastic. A little table, a little bar area where you know they have all the um, bottles of rum and whatnot. Looks to be a keg. Just fantastic job on Lego's part. There's a little letter here, letter here. These guys are writing a lot of letters. I don't know who they're writing letters to, but they are writing letters to people. So just great job on Lego's part. The other thing too, let's just spin her around a little bit more. Nice little uh, feathered hat, nice little candlestick. I absolutely love the candlestick piece, guys. Great job on Lego's part. Every area there can be detail, there is detail on this model. They do not, they spare no expense. Um, anyways, that's the interior of the uh, ship, or this part of the ship, I should say. Um, what we're gonna do now is actually uh, attempt to put this boy all together and uh, yeah, show that off for you guys. And to do that, Lego actually gives you the extra pieces that you'll need, so they're just right here. It's really nice that they did that. Extremely inventive on Lego's part. Um, let's now uh, attempt to get that ship built up. Uh, yeah, should be interesting. Some people take, say it takes 30 minutes. Let's see how long it takes. Well guys, we finally got it done and I have to say that took, that took about 30 minutes, maybe a little longer. Um, but before we get into the ship, let's just show you guys some of the smaller builds that are included. So you get a nice looking little rowboat, nice looking little pirate flag on it as well. Very nice looking little ship, nothing too crazy. And you also get a shark, and I mean, it wouldn't be a pirate set unless it did include a shark. Nothing too much to say about him. Um, what is kind of cool is the only difference that you'll notice between him and like the older sharks is he has eye printing. Um, but besides that, it's just your standard run-of-the-mill shark. But you know what? It's nice they included that. It wouldn't be a pirate set without it. Now let's take a look at the Barracuda ship. And here she is in all her glory. So let's just give you guys a 360 view of this. You guys have seen most of the interior, or all the interior, I should say. There's one other little area I'm gonna center in on, but beautiful looking ship. So many good things to say about it. I mean, look how sleek it looks. It just blends together. It almost has a bit of a snot look to it. Like, you don't see any studs, really. Like, of course, there still is studs, but, not a lot showing, especially the side. Like it just looks so, it looks clean is the word I'm looking for. Um, now let's zoom in a little bit closer. And zooming in, we'll give you guys a little bit more detail. This is all like, they, they, all, they told you basically to do all this, to like make these little crates just like that with these barrels. It looks like a very, it looks like a functioning ship. Like, you know, and the only thing I will say is there is no gun room. You can put the cannons on top. They didn't say to do that in the instructions, but I did that because it would not be a pirate ship without the cannons. So you just can stick them on top. Um, I would have liked it if they were in here and the cannons came out. However, you'd sacrifice interior and nobody really wants to do that, right? But all in all, just great looking ship. There's a couple, there's one feature to the ship I wanted to show off as well as um, one area of a room that I uh, forgot to mention. So one thing I wanna mention is, you see this line right here with the anchor? Well, if you twist it left or right, you can literally set anchor like it is, like so, or if you turn it right, you literally can pull the anchor in. So that's absolutely a fantastic feature. Great job on Lego's part. Um, I also just wanted to, uh, Centering a little bit more on these sails. They are very intricate, and that's why it took so long to set it up. What I really appreciated about this though, is you don't see this in many, um, it's kind of like a steering sail. That is not the correct terminology for a sailing ship, but you know, that's what it kind of does. And uh, they don't, you don't see that in too many pirate ships. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention just quickly is this was the area of the room that I didn't mention. And I thought it was absolutely fantastic. See this? That is awesome. I don't know if the pirate's ever planning on putting on, you know, the uh, authentic headgear of the day. You know, those, those white wigs, but 
it has it. it ha that, that, that just reminded me of Pirates of the Caribbean. The other thing that's really cool about this little room is the bed does fold in like so. So if he, if he wants a little room for uh, dancing or something, he can do it up. Uh, anyways, that's the ship itself. Um, really beautiful model. I am so impressed with the creativity of how this can switch back and forth. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention just quickly was the island. Now this is the island without the ship, obviously, and it just reminds me of Minecraft. Uh, I think it would be a great little thing to kind of like mod. You could do so much with this. Like you could build another island on it and then keep the ship built like so, whatever you want to do. But anyways, I just wanted to center in on that. Uh, now what we're going to do is take a look at the minifigs. And here we have the first three of the 10 minifigs. So these are actually all named characters. Um, this one, her name is Robin Loot, uh, Captain Redbeard, and then uh, Lady Anchor. So very pirate, pri pirate-esque names, I will say. Um, nice looking torsos, no leg printing on them, but I really like the dirt on her face. I think that was awesome. And then we have um, Redbeard. I keep wanting to call him Brickbeard, another name for him. Nice looking torso, peg leg, hook. He even has an eye patch. I mean, he's as pirate as they come. And then Lady Anchor, not too bad of a minifig. I actually like her torso quite a bit. Um, what's interesting about these minifigs, however, is none of them have back face printing. Although I will say, I really like this. This was like a unique piece, very Pirates of the Caribbean. And she actually does have uh, back face printing. The only one that actually has back face printing. Um, if you notice right here, Lady Anchor does not have back face printing. So not the end of the world. I just, I thought that, I found that surprising, but they all have back um, torso printing, which you'd expect. Um, but anyways, those are the first three minifigs. Let's now move on to the next three. And here we have the next three minifigs. Um, I really got a kick out of this. These are the twins, Port and Starboard, Starboard. So <laughs> they're using everything they can as far as like old ship lingo. I just thought that was fantastic, although we still use that nowadays. And then we have a nameless uh, pirate on the far right. He literally doesn't have a name. I love the mustaches on these dudes. Very, very nice. It, they were, they're just very, <laughs> those mustaches are gonna come into play at some point. Like maybe I'll use them in a mock or something. Um, I'll actually show you guys their faces though without the uh, mustaches. And here they are with their uh, mustaches shaved off. So anyways, great looking minifigs. Um, I love the names. There isn't tons of detail on these guys, but there's definitely enough. Like there's no leg printing or, you know, back face printing. But uh, yeah, they get the job done. Let's now take a look at the uh, next three. Here we have the next three. So as you guys can see, you get a musketeer, who's obviously, uh, he's a skeleton now, he dead. Uh, then you also get this little pirate dude, and I thought that was weird in the beginning, but I thought, you know what? He could be like a cabin boy, kind of like Jim Hawkins. So I kind of like that. It's the very first time I think Lego's ever th thrown in a kid in a pirate set. And then this is by far one of my favorite pirates, besides a red beard, I really, really like him. And guys, I lied. I checked the set over and I thought that there was no back face printing, but this guy literally has back face printing as well. So there's too many figs out of the 10 that have back face printing. Check out the tattoo on this guy's back. That is incredible. Wow. He's by far, I think he might be the rarest minifig of the lot just because of his torso, like amazing looking. And the other minifig that you actually get, the 10th is just another skeleton. So we're not gonna check him out because um, he's literally identical to the one right here. But anyways, those are the minifigs. Again, I love the one on the left. Um, let's now get into the end of the review and get my final thoughts. Well guys, that was my review. Do hope you enjoyed it. Um, honestly, this set's phenomenal. What set do you know of that converts itself from its island form, a shipwrecked island, to an actual ship? I know of no sets. Um, it, yes, it took 30 minutes to do, but man, it's just, it looks phenomenal. It may be the best pirate ship they've ever made. We're gonna do a comparison. I'm not 100% on that, but 
it's really, really good. The only thing is, is they don't have a gun room like maybe the Imperial flagship had, like the 2010 one. Um, but I mean, you take away from the interior, you wanna have all those different rooms, just put the cannons on top, you could fit three aside, you wouldn't get four aside like the Imperial flagship, but you'd still get three aside. And I mean, anyways, it's just great set, so much creativity, so much detail, but let me know what you guys think about this set, if I'm possibly overrate, overrating it. I give it a 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10. It is a great all in all model. But um, yeah, I'm always interested in what you guys think. Are you gonna buy this? Any areas you think they could maybe improve on if you already own it? I'm always anxious to find out what you guys think, but honestly, I think it's a great all in all model. Um, but anyways, that's all I got for you today. But if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, click that bell so you're notified for any future Pirates uh, reviews we do on this channel. Uh, but yeah, anyways, again, that's all I got for you today. But thanks again for watching, guys. I really do appreciate the support. And I'll catch you on the next one.